Hi everybody, today I will show you how to make responsive header in WordPress. So let's begin. Alright, so to make the responsive header, first of all what we have to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here we have to search for Elementor, Header and Footer Builder. Okay, so we have to install this and activate this. So I have already done that. Now what I have to do, I actually have to go inside the appearance. And here you can see the option of Elementor, Error and Footer Builder. But before going into that, I will show you what theme I'm using here. So I'm going to go into the themes. And here you can see here I'm using the Astro theme. So if you don't know how to install the theme here, you're going to simply click on the Add New Theme. And here you have to search for Astro. And as you can see here, we have the Astro at the top of the search. So we have to click on the install here. Obviously, it is already installed and activated. Otherwise, you will be able to see the install option just like here. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to go back into the Elementor, Header and Footer Builder. And here, what we will do, we we'll simply click on Add New. And here we have to write down the name of the header here. So this is going to be Header. And we have to select the type of the template. That would be the header. And after that, we have the display on property. So I'm going to select the value here for the entire website. And after that, we have the user roles that you can skip right now. And yeah, that's it. So we have to click on publish. Now we have to click on edit with Elementor. And here we will be building our responsive header. Okay. So first of all, what I have to do, I have to click on add new container. That would be the flex box. And I would go here with the three column structure. I would also add the second container here. It would be the flex box again. And this will be the two column structure. Okay. So in the first one, I would simply click here and I would add the logo here. So let's go back and click on the image here. Let's just drag this and put this here and click on the choose image. And here I have to choose the image here. So I'm going to go here with this logo. Click on the select. Perfect. And on the second one, I'm going to add the navigation menu. All right. So in the navigation menu, you can see here that we are getting from header and footer builder. So I have to drag this and put this here. And in here, first of all, what you have to do, you have to choose your menu. So if you have the multiple menu, you will be able to see the multiple options here. Otherwise, you will be able to see the default one. Okay. And after this, we have the layout here. So in the layout, we have the horizontal, we have the vertical, expanded and flyout. So for the desktop version and for the tablet version, we're going to go here with the horizontal. And I'm going to put this into the center. Okay. And what else I would like to do here? I would actually like to change the color of it. Okay. So I'm going to go here with the white color. So here I have to change the text color. So this will be white. Yes. So that will be it for right now. Okay. And in the last, I'm going to have the button. So let's just go back here. And here I have to have the button here. So let's drag this and put this here. And I would align this into the center. And here what I would do, I would basically change the text color to the kind of the pink color here that we have. And on the background color, I'm going to go here with the white color. Yes. All right. So now what I have to do, I think this is looking good right now. All right. So the first thing that I have to do here is to change the size of my logo. So it will be a bit smaller here. I think this is looking fine. So I'm going to go here with OT. Yeah, this is looking better. And same goes for the button here. So in the button, I'm going to add the pairing to the 10px. Mm, I think I would go here maybe with the 15. Okay. And what else I have to do here? I actually have to change the text size. So we're going to change the size from here. And now what I have to do, I actually have to go inside the content. And here I'm going to write down contact us. All right. And uh, I have to put this like this. And I'm going to go inside the style again go into the typography and transform this into the capitalize okay so this is looking good and what else i have to do here i'm going to change the weight here so this will be a kind of thin okay so this is looking good or maybe we can go here with this one okay so this is looking good and what else i can do here i'm going to change the font size so i think this is looking better now okay and now i'm going to go back and let's just change the padding size to the 12 px now this is looking better okay so now what i have to do i actually have to change the background color of my container so this will be 
the background color here so i'm gonna go here with kind of pinkish color or maybe a reddish color or something like this but i think i'm gonna go here with this color or we can go here with this one a bit of darker color okay so this is looking good okay so what else i have to do i have to align the items into the center that we have in our container so let's go into the layout and here what i have to do click on the align items now this is looking good okay and if i just click on the template portrait here you can see here that we are having the hamburger here but here what i have to do i would actually go into the content here and here i'm going to go here to the layout and here what i have to do is to change the breakpoint so that would be the mobile now this is looking good okay and here what i have to do i actually have to change the size here so let's just go inside the style and here what we have to do we actually have to change the horizontal pairing so i think this is this is looking good and also the vertical okay so this is looking good and the space between okay so we can have the space between here okay one thing that we can do here is to decrease the size of our container here okay so let's just give it a smaller space here so this will be 20 percentage so let's click on our second container and we're gonna go here with the 55 perfect okay so now let's click on our menu here let's just add some space here now this is looking good and now i would also need to change the size of my logo here so let's just increase the size here all right so yeah this is looking good okay and this is looking perfect and now we have to do the things on our mobile version okay all right so now the thing is on the mobile version i don't want to have the contact us button and here if i just click on this you'll be able to see this is not looking good okay so for the mobile version we're gonna have a kind of second header that will be only visible on the mobile screen and on the tablet screen we're gonna have our first header here this one okay so now what we have to do we actually have to disable this on the mobile version okay so let's click on the edit container go into the advanced settings and here you can see the option of responsiveness so we have to click on this and i want to hide this on the mobile portrait so let's just enable this and when we go to the mobile portrait this header won't be available on the mobile portrait so now what we have to do we actually have to create the header for the mobile version only here okay so here what we're gonna do we're gonna simply do the same thing here so let's just click here we'll have our header so let's click on the main container here and in the main container i will click on the first container and this will only occupy the 50 percent width and also for the second one let's just write down 50 percent now you can see this we are having the two column here okay that is looking good so now first of all what we have to do we actually have to add the image here or the logo so let's click on our logo here so i can copy the logo here so let's copy this from here and i would basically put this on our container here perfect similarly what i'm going to do here i'll simply copy the navigation menu here and i'll simply put this on my second container here perfect all right so let's just click on our main container we'll put this into the center and first of all what we have to do we actually have to add the background color so i would need to go back to my main container first because i need to copy the background color from here so let's copy this background color from here let's just go back to our main container and let's just go back to the mobile portrait and add the background color here so let's just add color here now this is looking good all right so first of all what we have to do we actually have to increase the logo size here so let's click on the image here and go to the style and increase the width here all right so i think this is looking good we're gonna go here with the 70 percent let's just put this on to the left side and here on our hamburger let's just click on this okay so here what we have to do we have to click on the layout and we have to change the layout from the horizontal to layout okay so now if i just click on this you will be able to see that we are having this side bar here so this is looking good obviously i have to change the color of the text here so let's go into the style and here what we have to do we actually have to change the text color so this will be a kind of black color or we can go here with the same color that we have already used all right so now this is looking good okay so what else we can do here we can actually add some space here and we'll increase the horizontal pairing this will be it 
and the top is facing like this i think this is looking good and what else we can do i think i would like to make this little bit look bolder so let's go here with the bold here or maybe we can go here with the semi bold or let's just go here with the medium i think we're gonna go here with the default value all right so what else we can do here we can increase or decrease the size of our font here so we're gonna increase the font size here a bit so let's just go here with maybe let's just go here with the 18 okay so this is looking good now all right so this is looking perfect so let's close this all right so now what we have to do we actually want to change the color of our hamburger so for that we have to click on the menu trigger and click on the color here so let's go here with the white color all right so we have changed the color of our icon here so now what we have to do i think i will need to put this maybe on to the right side so let's just give it a try here all right so now this is looking good and yeah all right so now this is looking good so now what we have to do we actually have to click on our main container here because we only want to make this visible on the mobile version so let's click on the responsive disable this on the tablet and the desktop version okay so let's click on publish now and now what we're gonna do we'll simply click on the preview changes all right so now you'll be able to see our header here so if i just click on the inspect here and now you can see this we are having a responsive header so if i just change the size here so let's click on here with the responsive so if i just change the size here you'll be able to see that we are having a responsive header so this is for the tablet version and if i increase the size here this will be for the desktop version and if i just decrease the size this will be for our mobile version so let's click on the hamburger here and now you can see this this is how our header is looking and i think this is looking good so let's close this and if you go back to the tablet version and the desktop version i think this is looking good one thing that we can do here let's just go back to the edit here let's just go back to the header here i would actually like to space them out so let's go back to the layout here okay so what we have to do here let's just click on the content width to the full width and now they would look fine okay so let's just click on publish again and let's just go back to the header let's just close this now the header is looking better now okay so this is how we can create the responsive header in the wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel